Hi folks, it's Saturday morning, um, once again I'm out here at Natty Muck uh, for a ride. Um, nice to be outside, most of my riding's indoors, but Saturdays I like to try and get outdoors. Um, cardiac rehab. Um, I've actually attempted to post this a video about the same item, or the same topic this week, but I had some issues with um, YouTube, so uh, take three, hopefully this works. Um, I had someone ask me about cardiac rehab and uh, the recovery process and getting back into some form of exercise and activity uh, post-surgery. So I'll speak from my experience, uh, it may be different for many other people, but this might this will just give people a bit of an idea of what um, what the rehab process is. Basically, the day after your surgery, your rehab starts. Um, most patients will be uh, asked if they feel up to it for a bit of a walk out of the bed in ICU and a bit of a wander around ICU in a walking frame with all your tubes and bags and monitors attached. Um, that's part of your rehab. Um, and I suppose that's the point of when you start to feel a little bit more normal. Um, so that is a good start. Then, you know, laying in bed, you can move your legs around, your arms, just a bit of physical exercise. Um, when you're removed or discharged from ICU and you go to a coronary care unit, uh, you're encouraged to walk around the ward, um, you know, three, four, five times a day, just depending on your, your level of um, recovery and, and fitness, I suppose, and your fatigue, because it's over, an overwhelming amount of fatigue and pain after the surgery. Um, also, another part of the rehab process is to reinflate your lungs. Um, part of bypass surgery is that uh, they deflate your lungs um, to get access to all your bits and bobs in your body. Uh, so that basically starts the next day after your surgery um, and basically you're given an apparatus by the occupational therapist. Um, it's an apparatus which actually um, you inhale from, so it's hard to explain, I haven't got one here to show you, but you basically suck on the end of a tube and eventually try and inhale um, uh, a litre of air um, to reinflate your lungs. And I've got to tell you, it's bloody painful, but it's certainly worthwhile. Uh, the quicker you can get your lungs inflated, um, the better. Also, it moves your rib cage. Uh, if you've had your sternum cut in half, um, it's um, yeah, part of the process to, to get some normal movement in that area and not have it freeze up, because it's just going to be a lot more painful later on. Um, when you're discharged from hospital, when I was discharged from hospital, um, the um, coronary care unit forwarded all my details to my local hospital, which is about 300 kilometres away, um, for access to the cardiac rehab program. Um, basically, initially what they will do is once they get the paperwork and you're settled at home and you're, you're walking a little bit more, you, you increase your walking from 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20, 30, 30 minutes, 30 minutes twice a day. Um, the hospital gets in touch with you, and invites you to come and uh, take part in the rehab program. Um, and that basically involves an assessment by a, a, a cardiac um, physiotherapist, cardiac nurse as well, um, just to see where you're at, and what your previous exercise and fitness and activity level was before you, your event and your surgery. Um, part of that assessment is a, a walk beep test. Um, you might be familiar with that. With You might see footballers running between witches hats. This is a little bit similar. Oh, flies, March flies, boy they hurt. Um, there's two witches hats set apart, 10 metres apart. Um, and it's a timed test, so your physiotherapist will hold a monitor and it'll beep. You walk to the witch's hat as quick as you, well, as quick as you can, and wait till the next beep. 
Uh, then you repeat that and uh, basically what happens it's a, a timed test um, and the time is ever diminishing so it gets shorter and shorter and you need to walk quickly but not run. Um, it's a test basically uh, that you will not pass, you will fail it. Uh, they just push you to the point of failure and then they assess your uh, fitness from, from that point on. Uh, rehab program I went through was eight weeks, um, 90 minutes each time. Um, and that involved you know, light exercise to start off with, um, you know, leg squats, walking up and down steps, um, riding on an indoor or a gym style bike um, for 10 minutes, keeping the heart rate at a particular level. Mine was at 130 beats a minute, I think. Um, you'll be in a group with a group of people and uh, if I could say it's encouraged that your partner, wife, support person, boyfriend, girlfriend uh, attend cardiac rehab as well. Uh, it's just vital, vitally important for th if they feel comfortable with it that they can actually uh, connect with other carers, partners who have been a support person to their partner who's been through heart surgery. Um, just as a sounding board, um, someone who has a, you know, empathy, um, it, it just forms that connection. A lot of the times the partners just get, I won't say forgotten about, but um, sh shelved is too harsh. But the focus is more on the patient, whereas it's a 50-50. The patient, sure, they've got to recover, but it's a terribly traumatic event for the person who has no control over your event whatsoever. Um, so yeah, really important if, a, if your partner can take part in the rehab uh, process as well. Um, after the exercises, generally there's a talk by either a cardiac nurse, physiotherapist, social worker, um, dietitian, we go through healthy eating, um, the cardiac nurse talks about the heart, heart muscle, um, yeah, quite interesting stuff. Um, I've got to say I learnt a lot of, more about my heart than I actually knew um, and continue to learn about it. So that goes for eight, eight weeks and each week your program is increased uh, and it's all supervised um, which is the the benefit of cardiac rehab. You're in a supervised hospital environment so you can push yourself a little bit and um, you're observed by professionals so if things start going a bit wonky they're there to support you but you know if you can push and push uh, within a limit if something goes wrong you're in the best place you're not at home you're in a hospital so they can get to you straight away and also it I find or I found um, it just gives you the confidence to start moving and doing exercise again and working your heart. I mean, you know, when you've got five new arteries attached to your heart, you're feeling a bit fragile, your chest is sore. The last thing you want on your mind is that an artery is going to pop off and um, cause you a bit of grief. Um, doing cardiac rehab reinforces that that's not going to happen and, and inspires some confidence. Um, so that was the program. I uh, the Rehab extends after eight weeks. You, you encourage to keep walking. Uh, if you've got an indoor, if you're fortunate enough to ride a bike and be passionate about it, you might have an indoor trainer, use that. Um, like I started off 10 minutes a day then increased it to two lots of 10 minutes a day, keeping the heart rate at 130 beats a minute. Then under the guidance of the uh, physiotherapist, and OT at the hospital was able to up the heart rate a bit. Um, and then in consultation with the cardiologist, get the all clear to actually push more and do longer hours and actually get out on the road like I am today to, to ride. Um, indoor riding is probably, it still continues to be good rehab for me. It's, um, it's a safe environment, I'm at home. Um, I can monitor my efforts 
and I can cap my heart rate and not have to worry about the fluctuations in elevation on the road, headwind or anything like that. It's um, it's the perfect tool. And I use Wift. There's other other programs out there as well. No, you don't even have to use that. You can just have your bike on a trainer and a Garmin head unit or similar and use that wearing a heart rate monitor and uh, gauge your efforts. All right, I have waffled enough. Um, it's... Uh, if you find that this in information useful and uh, you want to leave a comment or send a message, please do. Um, no questions, don't be embarrassed about anything. Ask away and I'll endeavour to answer as best I can. I'm not a professional, I'm certainly not clever, but um, hopefully I can uh, provide bits of information that might actually um, be relayed to someone who has a heart condition or is getting over a heart condition. and and to show that you can actually, 18 months after your event, you can actually get back to a sense of normality and start walking, riding, running, weightlifting, swimming, archery, you name it, whatever it was, bowls, croquet, <laughs> and get out and do it. Um, yet again, I'm a natty mutt. It's a bit of a, bit of a smoky old day. Um, I think there's some fires around long, long run on. Um, so uh, it's going to be a, a headwind home, a smoky headwind, and uh, I'm caffeinated with iced coffee and some eggs and toast. I've done 80, 85 k's, ridden up Mount Arapiles twice, another 30 k's to go, and I'm home. And uh, put the feet up for a little while, and um, then enjoy the rest of the day out in the garden. Uh, thank you, I hope this all finds you well. Um, as I said, you know, if you feel you want to send a message, um, I'll answer any questions that I can. Alrighty, take care everyone and uh, get out, move your legs, it's a good thing. And uh, I love getting out on a Saturday, it's nice to get out, outdoors, fresh air. Take care.